Hi, my name's David from Heat Pumps for Pools, and today what we're going to be doing is looking at how to install the Wi-Fi module on one of our Thermatec inverter heat pumps for swimming pools. This is a 9 kilowatt Thermatec inverter unit, but this Wi-Fi module can be fitted onto any of the seven models in the range. So in the box, when you get the Wi-Fi module, what you receive is the actual module itself uh, with the cable, and you'll receive a wire cable uh, which you're going to use to connect this module into the heat pump. So I'm now going to take you through how to wire this into the heat pump to set up the module, pair it to your Wi-Fi. Okay, what we're now going to do is wire the uh, Wi-Fi module into this unit. So the starting point is to remove the uh, electrical access panel. You don't need to remove the lid, you can do it all from the access panel. So there's a single screw that you can just remove underneath and then you can remove the electrical panel. Once you've removed the electrical panel, you should be able to locate the cable that connects the display onto the main circuit board of the unit with a connector in the middle. All we're simply going to do is disconnect this connector. One side goes to the display, which is the cable going to the front. The other side goes to the main circuit board. What we're then going to do is take the wire cable that we've got, connect that on the side that goes off to the circuit board, make sure you get it the right way around. And then you've got two, two sides present now. One side we're going to connect to the, um, to the main display, leaving the other side that we're going to connect the Wi-Fi module. Now the Wi-Fi module will, has a magnetic back on it and that's going to stick on the outside of your heat pump. So we're going to thread the, the cable through the bottom grommet into the heat pump it's now inside and what we can do is join the Wi-Fi module onto the other part of the wire cable making sure it's nice and secure. Once you've got that installed tuck the cable out of the way so it's nice and waterproof and then we can reposition the electrical panel onto the heat pump, replace the screw into the bottom And that is the connections for the Wi-Fi module completed. What we now do is take you through how to install the app and configure the app to pair it with your Wi-Fi. Okay, so now we've installed the uh, Wi-Fi module. Now what I'm going to do is take you through how to pair it to the Wi-Fi and install the app. The first thing you need to do is go onto your app store. Now on, I'm using an iPhone here, but this would also work on an Android device. Go onto the app store and download an app called Inverter Temp. That's all one word, inverter temp. Once you've downloaded the app and installed it, it will ask you to register, insert your username, uh, your email address and your password. Once you've done that, you should come to a screen like this, which is ready to actually add the device to your app and pair it to your Wi-Fi. So the first thing we're gonna do is click the plus sign to add a new device. Now, obviously before you start, you need to make sure that you've got a Wi-Fi signal where your heat pump is. This Wi-Fi module needs to connect to your Wi-Fi on your house, so that you need to check with your phone that you've got a good Wi-Fi signal where the heat pump is going to be located, otherwise this won't work. So as long as you've got a Wi-Fi signal there, you can proceed. If you haven't, you can get a Wi-Fi repeater or a Wi-Fi booster to actually deliver your Wi-Fi signal to where your module is. So my phone is joined onto the Wi-Fi in the house as well and it's going to ask me to input the password for my Wi-Fi in the house. So it's found the name of the Wi-Fi, which is heat pumps for pools here. I'm now going to enter the uh, password for the uh, Wi-Fi. And once you've done that, you click the little arrow to go to the right. It's now telling you here to press the button on the Wi-Fi module. The light should, should flash blue, and then we press the Right arrow again, it says configuring on the screen, hopefully you can see that, and the, the light on the Wi-Fi module is flashing blue. Now if this is going to work, what we're hoping for is the light will change to green. Once the light has gone green, then we're home and dry, and, and it's paired to your Wi-Fi on your house. So this will take a, a couple of minutes, um, so don't worry if there's a little bit of delay, just let it do its thing, and eventually once the light goes green on the module, you're home and dry. Okay, so the 
Wi-Fi module is now paired to our Wi-Fi and the light has gone green. Once the light goes green, you're home and dry and it will work okay. If it doesn't go green, you may need to try it a couple of times and persist until you get a green light. Once you get a green light, you're good to go. So on the app now, we can see the MAC address of the Wi-Fi module. So this is our heat pump. If we click on it, then it will connect to the, uh, the heat pump um, and then we can start to control the heat pump. Okay, so the, the app is now loading, connecting to the uh, heat pump and in a second it will show us the temperature. Okay, so now the device has paired and found the heat pump, you can see the temperature on the, of the water on the front. What we now do, we go around to the front of the heat pump and I'll take you through how we can control the heat pump from the app. Okay, so we've now got the app running and you can see the display here. The uh, water temperature is currently showing on the display at 17.3 and on the app it's showing 17.3 as well. What we can do to show that it's actually paired is we can adjust the set temperature. If we just drag this on the app now, you can change it to say 30. If we look on the heat pump, you can see the set temperature has gone to 30. If I just drag it back down to say 24 in a second, you should see this change to 24. So you can see the two are talking to each other. If we, if we go to this little icon in the bottom of the heat pump of the app, we can turn the heat pump on. This middle icon is the power button. If we turn it on, you'll see that the wavy symbol comes on. And if we keep an eye on the uh, power button on the display, you see that's just gone green. So that shows that we've turned the heat pump on and in a couple of seconds the fan will start to turn and the heat pump will come on. So we're now controlling the heat pump via the app. So the fan is now running. Okay. And again we can now control various settings of the heat pump from the app on the phone. And this is really useful, you can then control your heat pump, monitor what it's doing, uh, operate it remotely, uh, it's incredibly useful. So what we do again, we'll adjust the uh, set temperature, so on the heat pump we've got it 24. If we go onto the app now and change the set temperature to say 30 degrees, you should see a change on the display, so the two are talking to each other. If we now turn the heat pump off, the wavy line on the app disappears, it greys out, the, heat, the fan has now stopped and in a second you'll see the power light go off. So hopefully that's been a useful run through of how you can control the Thermatec Inverter Swimming Pool Heat Pump using an app on your phone and your Wi-Fi. For more information go to www.heatpumps.com.